topic I'm really interested in is in what could be called the algebra of actions. Actually, I have in mind the algebra of computer programs, but it's easier to explain if we just talk about everyday instructions. For example, put on socks. This is an everyday instruction. I do it most days. Followed by put on shoes. Now, here are two basic actions, and yet the simple instruction followed by combines them into a global action that we could call get feet dressed. Okay, so two small instructions are combined by this operation to produce one bigger uh, instruction. This is very reminiscent to the situation we had before, where two small numbers were pulled together to make one bigger number in this case, but in general two things were pulled together by some operation. But it's totally different. Okay? Now, there's nothing special about putting on socks and putting on shoes here. These could be programming commands. Maybe this could be assigning a value to a variable, and this could be asking for some particular value to be stored in a certain kind of fashion. And the two commands, followed by one after the other, would produce some larger command. And really, all a, a general computer program is, in one sense, um, at least at the algorithmic level, is a sequence of instructions pulled together using basic constructions such as followed by, and if then else, while, that kind of thing. Now here, the properties are quite different. With the algebra of numbers, remember we had the situation where it didn't matter what order you added. It certainly matters what order you do these in. Um, if I put my shoes on first, I'll get a different outcome to what I do if I follow this instruction which says to put the socks on first. Now I didn't say you can't do it, it's just that it ends up looking different. It's not the same thing, it's a different instruction. In fact, it's not clear you really can do it. <laughs>